Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm the pediatric pharmacist and today I'll be going over how to draw up an epi syringe for a code situation and then how to make an epi drip. And so in front of me I have the hand heavy. We're going to be doing a patient who's approximately six kilos, so approximately four months old. I have the box for an epi during the code with syringes. I'll be doing the stopcock method today and then I also have an epi to make an epi drip and a bag for that epi drip as well in the case that we have ROSC after our code and we'll need the epi drip faster than pharmacy can get it to us. And so first I'll be drawing up an epi for this four month old so we can see on the hand heavy the epi dose for a code situation is highlighted in red so that's going to be the 0.1 milligram to 1 ml epi which is going to be this uh, brown box here. And if we open it from the bottom, it opens up cleanly. Um, and so that's what we're doing today. And so we can pop off the peppy and put it into our project, connect that. So if our patient was over 50 kilos, we could do a full epi dose in this case. We are at six kilos, so we'll be drawing up a patient-specific dose using our 1 ml syringe. And so, R with our 1 ml syringe. Um, and if we're doing the stopcock method, we have three ports in the stopcock, and we can, your one, connect it to the patient, or we can just use it to draw up our dosing. And so we can connect the syringe one end. and can connect our epi on the other. Um, and draw back that syringe to the points, 0 0.6 mLs. That's we, let me show them the syringe. There we go. Okay. Draw up to 0.6 and put that in as well. So, do you have the stopcock? Yep. Okay. We'll just turn that stopcock so that it flows in. Um, yes. So we would put a red cap on this so that um, we know that the dose is given and we can make our med label here um, with epinephrine. is 0 0.06 milligrams. We're going to be giving those doses during a code every three to five minutes so we can draw up about three doses and that'll buy us time about nine minutes um, with epis already drawn up. And so that, um, you know, we uh, have faith in this code and we're going to be making an epi drip because we are expecting to get ROS. And um, so going to that, we can turn in our page to in the hand heavy to where it says drips. Um, see it says epinephrine, 16 mics per ml, and if you see in really small letters it says how to make your epi drip. So it says mix 0 0.8 ml and 550 ml, so you can do D5 or normal saline for epi or norepinephrine, um, and to mix that, we're gonna be using our one milligram per one ml vial of epinephrine, which is different from our code epi, which is one milligram to 10 mLs. So we're using this vial, which is in all the code cards. And there's also 50 ml bags inside the code part to make drips. Uh, for larger kids, there's 250 ml of both normal saline and D5. Okay. And so, I'm going to flip you, I'm going to flip the cap. Um, and we're doing 0.8 ml, so we'll use our 1 ml syringe to do that. 
into there. We're drawing up 0 0.8 mLs. Okay. And then we're putting that into the white side. So it's going to be 0 0.8 milligrams of epi in our 250 ml. So we can and so you'll definitely want a label so that we can start our drip at the right rate and concentration. So be 0 0.8 milligrams in 50 mLs. So this is normal saline. Normal saline. Um, and as a hand heavy says, it's 16 micrograms per ml. Okay, so we can that. And sometimes it has come up, can you run epi uh, if you're a patient? loses a pulse again, you can continue running this epi. This is running usually at one mic per kilo per minute, which is going to be a lot smaller rate than your push dose epi that you're giving during that code situation. So in those situations, we can run both if needed. So that's okay. it. Thank you, Natalie.